Today we're going to take a look at the customization abilities of labels in Ysys. Ysys has their own concept of label printing using document management and it's all repository driven. All labels are actually crystal reports so it makes it easy to customize the labels used printing either on the handheld or if it's a desktop application like Shopflow Work Center Reporting or Pop Desktop. So the first thing we want to look at is in ES we'll go to System, System Settings, and WMS Documents. And when we first come up, everything is broken out by categories. So inventory picking, shipping, shop floor, receiving, pop, and then there's the subcategories, in this case PO receiving. And this is the way it comes right out of the box. There are no labels defined, but we do deploy some predefined labels. And to bring those in, you simply go to File, Document Import, and Import Document Default. And we're going to choose to bring in all the documents. Click Import. Successfully imported documents. And it expands out all the documents so you can see here now. I'm going to collapse this and show you under Receiving. Again, under PO Receiving, we have a new document now called WSPO Receiving. And underneath that document defines the items or depending on what kind of document, it could define a customer, customer type, product category, and so forth. In this case, for peer receiving, we just do it by item. And if we go in here, we can also look at the fact that we can do it by product category as well. Uh, I can go in here and click item specific. And you can see a list of all the items in Macola. You can scroll down and pick whatever you want. Come in here and filter. And by double clicking, I can send that over here. And I typically would want to probably remove the default, but in this case, we're just going to we're going to do everything by default item. So meaning all items that uh, we receive will get a label printed using this particular label. So let's take a look at that. If we go and go over to the uh, Pocket ES server and we click on receiving. And we'll just start with uh, an item stem. And there's a couple of POs out here. So let's take PO 197 and we'll just receive one just so we can create an event. And with that comes the label. And here I'm printing it to screen so you can see what it, what it looks like. Typically, it would just print directly to your printer. Now, I'm going to show you how we can customize this report, which is very simple. I'm going to go back into our document management. and back under receiving and we'll expand out our peer receiving and we right click on the label that we want to customize click edit and it's going to locate exactly where that report is located on the hard drive so in this case it's under program files ysys doc where we put all of our default documents and I'm going to right click on it open with crystal reports and that's okay it's using an invalid printer and in this case I'm just going to shrink up the item number here and let's bring in the receiver. So I'll bring in a, the control number off the IM RecKiss table and I'll just put a text text object, call it receiver. And we'll save it. Okay, yes, it's just telling me I've got an incorrect version, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and upgrade to, to version 10 and go ahead and click open. And there's a couple options here. Uh, one, by default, we go portrait, and you can change it to landscape depending on uh, how you want it to print. Default printer will specify that uh, instead of having the, the user determine which printer to print to on the handheld, it'll print to the default printer that's defined on the actual report itself. If I choose prompt, then the user can define at printing time how many labels he would like to print on the handheld. Number of copies is the default number of copies. So if I make that uh, 1, 2, 10, whatever it is, then it'll ignore the prompt and just print that number of copies. Uh, if you choose to prompt, it'll default to the number of copies and then let you change it. Copies by cube uses the cube parameter. So if the cube parameter on the item master for the particular item I'm printing is set to a 10, I'm receiving 100. It'll take that quantity divided by the quantity per cube, and it, well, in this case, would print 10 labels. And this, in this uh, scenario, we'll just print uh, one label. Okay, so we'll close that down, and let's go back to our Pocket ES server, and we have quantity remaining of two. We'll go ahead and, and uh, receive one. 
and here you go it printed the receiver now on the label so simply by going into our document management right clicking and opening it with coast reports we can immediately make a change save it and you can see quickly the change happens immediately in the system